In this online lecture, we're going to talk about even more effects that substituents could have on benzene rings. Before you watch this lecture, you should definitely watch Substituent Effects on Benzene Rings Parts 1 through 3. What we're going to learn here is that number one, the electrophile maker or the Lewis acid is not necessary if a benzene ring has a strong activating substituent. We're also going to see number two that benzene rings with strong deactivating substituents will not undergo Friedel-Crafts alkylation and acylation. And we're also going to see three benzene rings with basic substituents such as an amino group will also not undergo a Friedel-Crafts alkylation and acylation. So let's explain these key points. Let's say you have this molecule right here and you're going to react Br2 and FeBr3. Well first let's make some observations here. Number one, our benzene ring has a substituent and he happens to be an ortho pair directing activator. And we're reacting Br2 which remember is the pre-electrophile. And underneath the arrow here the FeBr3 is the electrophile maker. Remember we learned in a previous online lecture about electrophilic aromatic substitution is that you needed both the pre-electrophile and the electrophile maker in order to make the reaction happen because remember benzene is pretty stable which means it doesn't normally like to react. So that's why we have the electrophile maker make the pre-electrophile very electrophilic which makes him therefore very reactive which gives the benzene ring no other case but to react with it. But remember we learned how substituents can affect benzene. And in this case remember since we have an ortho paradirecting activator substituent, the activator part remember means that the substituent makes benzene more reactive. And all I want you to know here is that therefore the FeBr3 is simply just not necessary in this particular reaction. Which means that again since he's still an ortho pair director we're still going to get two products. This one right here where the Br ortho to the original substituent and Br is para to the original substituent. Now the only reason why this is important is because if you saw this on your orgo exam you're not going to think that this is some different reaction just because you don't see the FeBr3. You're just going to know that this is acceptable. And very important, make sure you know that the FeBr3 is not necessary only for substituents that are very strongly activating, which would be on the top of the list that I gave you in the previous online lectures. But here's something else I'd like you to know. If you happen to use FeBr3, then it makes this reaction even more likely to happen, which means you're going to end up with this as a product. Notice we get the Br added to both ortho positions and the para position all in one product. So you could almost think of this as almost overreacting. Now here's the second point that we need to make in this online lecture. Remember we learned in a previous online lecture that Friedel Crafts alkylation had a certain number of limitations. And in that previous online lecture we only talked about three. But I'd like you to add to that list. I'd like you to add here number four. The fourth limitation is that under Friedel Crafts alkylation, the reaction will not take place with deactivated rings. And here's what this means. If you have a benzene ring with a very strong electron withdrawing group, such as NO2, and you try to perform Friedel Crafts alkylation with, remember, CH3Cl and AlCl3, no reaction occurs. Just think of it this way. The Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction is very sensitive. It doesn't always get the best yield. So adding a strong electron withdrawing group on a benzene ring makes, remember, benzene less reactive and in this case not reactive enough to perform a Friedel Crafts alkylation. Now you might be wondering, well, which substituents are involved here? Well, any of the meta directing deactivators, such as NO2, if you're on your orgo exam and you see a meta directing deactivator, remember group 3 of the substituents on a benzene ring, and a Friedel Crafts alkylation is being attempted, then remember no reaction. I'd like you to know that this is also true for Friedel Crafts acylation. Again, you will get no reaction if you have a strong electron withdrawing group on your benzene ring. 
Now let's look at the fifth limitation for Friedel-Crafts alkylation. Number five is the reaction will not take place with basic substituents. Notice our benzene ring has an amino group here which happens to be basic. Again, trying to perform this reaction, you're not going to get a product. And let's make sure we know why. Remember, we saw before in a previous online lecture that the electrophile maker always behaves as the Lewis acid. That means if your NH2 group here is basic, which could act as a Lewis base, then what you end up getting is an acid-base reaction with the NH2 group acting as a base and the AlCl3 acting as an acid which simply means the electrons on the nitrogen are donated to the Al. And think about how this affects this reaction. The pre-electrophile has no electrophile maker to react with in order to become more electrophilic or, in other words, electrophilic enough to react with the benzene ring. So that's why you're not going to get a product in this reaction other than what you see here on the left. So please keep that in mind, remember? five limitations for Friedel Crafts alkylation. Make sure you know all of them before your next orgo exam. So what are our key points here then? Number one, we saw the electrophile maker, that is the Lewis acid, is not necessary if a benzene ring has a strong activating substituent. We also saw number two, benzene rings with strong deactivating substituents will not undergo Friedel Crafts alkylation and acylation. And the last point we saw here is that benzene rings with basic substituents, such as an amino group, will not only not undergo Friedel-Crafts alkylation like we saw, but I'd also like you to know that includes Friedel-Crafts acylation as well.